YCSMD is this weekend. Unfortunately, I will not be there. Um, Bushi Road is this weekend as well in Rosemont up in Illinois. So I'm choosing to play Vanguard over Weiss. I'm not exactly, it's, it's no strange thing to like tell you guys. The format of Yugi's burn me out a little bit. I talk about this game all the time. So it'd actually be kind of nice just to, you know, go play some other trading card games and actually get the chance to relax, hang out with some friends as well. And best of luck to everybody. If you don't expect any to toss the market around a little bit though, huh, don't be surprised. Let's pass it over to Market Watch. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more Oz content and the Friday, Saturday, Sunday market watches. Um, all of the contest giveaways, you know, for the booster packs will be on Tuesday's market watch. So, if you down below, when you'll be walking away with a booster pack, tell me what you guys think about the market. So, Silent Boning. During the battle phase, if you control that silent magician monster and you have more cards in your hand, each player draws so they have six cards in their hand. This card's activation effect cannot be negated. Oh, okay. So that's why we've watched this card go up to 25 big ones. This is a stupid buyout. I actually, I guess good job to the guy that bought the, uh, the Italian versions all out at 99 cents a piece. <laughs> More power to you, I guess. I actually can't believe it. one of these sold for 15 and another one for 16. But don't worry. This isn't the only one that's gone up. The Silent Sword Slash lets you target a Silent Swordsman. It gets 1,500 attack and defense. And it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects till the end of this turn. And it can't be negated. Now remember, both of these do have the ability to search for a Silent Swordsman and a Silent Magician card, which I, I think is pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, this thing jettisoned up. You can still buy some Italian copies here for... Seven dollars, but you know you're not watching this one get bought out nearly as crazily as the other one. You're still looking at twelve dollars per English copy. I, I guess the moral of a story here, looking at these two cards, the Yugi deck has a huge amount of hype. All right, we've talked about this. We knew going into this that it is a fan favorite deck, and people want Yugi to actually be successful in the meta, and that's what you're seeing here are these huge movements dedicated to these two cards. Cool. Ray Sloth, QCR. You know, I bought one of these when they were $5 that Friday night. I was like, you know, I need one Ray Sloth in case I decide to tech it out in one of the builds. Um, you can't make this stuff up, man. They're up to $22 right now. I genuinely, I'm surprised about this. Um, formerly, I mean, the other version of Race Loth was hitting about the same price as this one is. So it's just kind of a redistribution of value across where, once again, this just proves how much people look at the Cash Tira package and go, hey, this is exactly the kind of stuff that you, I, I guess you want to be seeing right now. I, I don't know where the ceiling is for this. Um, but good job. You've kept the value down, I guess. Transmigration Prophecy. So evidently this has turned into an Edison tech choice recently. And I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, select two cards from the graveyards and shuffle them into their uh, owner's decks. I've always been a pretty big fan of this card. Crazy part is, some just sold for $47 a piece. And I, I guess this is what happens when you continuously see Edison format churning out here with the crazy ideas and things that people have had. I remember back in 2007, this card was in bulk boxes at events, and I, I bought some for 25 cents a piece. <sighs> was such an interesting time to be in the game. Well, it's taken this long, but once again, Strike Neos back at it again. Asa, the Earth Channeler. Now, I, I don't expect people to run over here and you know, look at this, but this this caught my attention. This the lowest one you can get right now is twenty dollars. Once again, that is twenty dollars for a Starlight rare. If you're a collector and you've been like maybe looking at some of the more specific Charmer cards, I mean, this just looks like something fun to add to collection. And of course, you can get a Euro English one here for twenty six dollars. Yeah, that printing actually looks way more amazing. The the darker bottom text, absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, I did not see this one coming. Zumbira the Darks. The last I remember for looking at Zumbira months ago was they were like $3. And that was just kind of, you washed your hands with it and you were like, well, that's that's the pinnacle of Zumbira's career, you know? It'll be a $3 car that'll go down to a dollar and we'll just kind of call it a day there. No, actually. Um, we've got a much different thing happening here. 
Um, besides this $8 one here, Zumbiras have steadily been $9 to $10 for a while. Uh, and I, I just feel like I've missed this, and this is one of those things. You know, you look at most modern era lost arts, and you're like, most of these aren't really worth touching. And, you know, it's cool that if you're going to pick up seal product anyway from locals, you get that little extra promo card initiative on top of things. But, okay, <laughs> sure. Now, the reason why I wanted to plug this in here is um, these actually just sold out online. Um, these popped up yesterday for me. I was going to include them in Market Watch, and they've they've long since gone. But the reason why I want to mention this is these might actually return back into stock. They had Age of Overlord boxes on Target for a hundred and eight dollars a piece. Now, for those of you like Robbie, that, that's too much money. Well, no, no, it's not. Um, they're a hundred and eighty still over on TCG Player. So I just want to point out that if you do get the chance to see these maybe come back into stock, um, these were up for a good day to two days from my understanding from what I was told uh, before anybody really saw anything happen to them. So that's kind of crazy to think about out here that these were floating at that price point, but okay. Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. You know, I, what do you want me to tell you about this? That you know, this thing could hit $300. Um, given the situation, yeah, yeah, it could hit $300, actually. Uh, I also see Konami printing the Feed Ash as an alternative print to this, possibly an RCO3, because they're going to look at the value on this thing, and they're going to go, wow, you know, that's insane. You, you already have one place set here for $215. Go up to 3 or $230, $240, $250, and then down here, you hit the 295 mark. I, it just takes a couple people wanting play sets of this. It's it's not very unrealistic to see that because I mean, you've already had a couple move in the last couple of days, and you know we we look at this current situation in the market. We're like you know people people seem like they don't have money. Yeah, no people people have money. They're they're moving cards. Things are rotating. So I guess I yeah yeah X pure Lenore. So with all that hype that we've had recently floating around out here. Um, I love this very cheap version here with 99.6 feedback. That'll probably be gone shortly. Uh, you're looking at about seven dollars a copy of Nor at this point. Um, there, you got to remember when a deck goes more budget, people look to the deck and they go, "All right, so now that things have gotten cheaper, now is the time to want to pick these things up." And I mean, Nor was. Pff, literal sense. I mean, this was 50, 60 cents. And it took fairly recently for those key reprints to redistribute that value to actually have this card jettison back on up. I'm not surprised, to say the least. And I think we're going to continue to see this do its thing for a while. Speaking of uh, interesting things, uh, this card's curve is nuts. Um, these have actually retraced down. The last time we looked at this, we saw these at like $40. And I was like, oh, you know, just one reprint of this. Leaves this card devastated. Yeah, yeah, it does. Our retrace value puts this back down to about $26 right now. Good stuff. Fire prints. You know, these continue to feel like they go up every single week. Um, and you still are settling at about the $9 to $10 range. Once again, I mean, with all the Salaman Great hype that's been going around, whether or not you choose to play this card or not, there's nothing wrong with it if you choose to, but it's just a cool little extender. Tier Limits Cash Tira. Huh. So you're telling me here we're still at $17 for this. Yeah, actually, these have been gaining a little bit of value. I know that there was a little bit of a time where they did retrace back down a little bit. Uh, you do have some $24, $29 versions of these that you do see spike up every once in a while. So this card does get the slightly higher movements um, considering, you know, just what it is. Uh, Magistus cards. I don't know how many of you pay attention to these, but... Um, just kind of keep an eye on this stuff. We've uh, been very adamant about watching these cards. Zoro has got a little bit of movement back here at fives, but keep an eye on this stuff. You never know when, you know, some of the new support's going to allow this stuff to kind of go turbo, run over a couple rocks, and kind of see, you know, what more we can expand on. And also, to those of you that have been watching the YCS J tokens and you keep asking about these, 
Um, I went ahead and included this. The lowest I could find with actual good feedback is about $46. They seem to have a lot of these, by the way, like genuinely. I always find it interesting to see these. But if this is something you want to add to your collection, probably going to continue to get cheaper, but this this thing looks gorgeous. So please, leave a comment down below. Don't mind what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here learning day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.